Zareen, it's been five years since the last King of Iron Fist was crowned <laughs> and a new tournament is coming up with Tekken 7. Oh gosh, I am so excited for this game. Yeah. As a seasoned Tekken veteran who used to compete in tournaments, mm. I'm very excited for the revival, like the proper revival of a numbered Tekken game. Yeah. So Tekken 7 isn't actually out on consoles yet. We recently spent a lot of time with an arcade reel of the game, mm -hmm. which gave us a really good feel for the game's mechanics, um, where it's going with uh, Tekken 7 and some of the new characters. We thought we'd share some thoughts um, and look ahead to when it's actually coming out on the console. Well, my first impressions of the game, I was playing it a little bit the arcades as well, but that machine was just so poorly maintained and always crowded, so I kind of gave up for a while. But going back, you know, and getting hands-on, I was, you know, quite impressed. Um, especially, you know, when I started playing against other players who were around the same level as me. Um, one of the things that I criticised a lot for Tekken Tag Tournament 2 was the damage scaling in combos and moves. And I felt like it was just such a combo heavy game. It's all about launching, starting your combo, and there's less room for like mind games and spacing and decision making. So, you know, that's one of the things I liked about Tekken 7. It, they seem to have kind of scaled that back. As someone who doesn't play many Tekken games, Edmund, I'm curious to know what you thought about it after getting hands on. Yeah, look, it's really interesting. The last Tekken game I really put some time into was Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection um, on the PS3. And so even though I'm sure the Tekken series has gone through a bunch of changes, coming to Tekken 7, it still just felt like good old Tekken to me. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't really see the nuance that you were seeing in the damage scaling because I never got to the point where I was pulling off 10-hit combos yeah. um, every time. But um, it was familiar enough for me to sort of pick my favourite characters and get a really good feel. It just felt like Tekken. I don't know what else there is to say about it. I mean, the thing about Tekken, you know, versus other fighting games is if you're a newcomer, you can come into the game and press a lot of buttons yeah. and still make things happen. Yeah, Tekken's the seminal mash game for me. <laughs> like, Yeah, and like that's what makes it kind of fun and exciting for people even like, for people who don't really get like into the game or dev like invest very heavy amounts of time into it, it can still be a fun game to play. And I think that's, you know, that helps make it accessible to a lot of people. Yeah. Much more so than Street Fighter where, you know, Absolutely. you don't need to worry about sort of commands um, for special moves or whatnot. It's just that's like right. left, right, left, right. Let's talk about some of the new mechanics. There's mm -hmm. obviously a new sort of super system. Right, so it's like rage art or critical art, depending on the translation you wish to use. But basically, uh, once your character reaches like lower health and the bar starts flashing red, you can execute like a one-off move that's really flashy and in actuality kind of useless, to be honest. It's really unsafe. Yes, it's really unsafe um, when it's happening and it's really unsafe on block as well. And yes, it can be blocked. So one of the things, like my main gripes about this, this critical art slash rage art move is that even like if you are not doing anything and your opponent d does it, you can just hit block straight away as like they're executing it because a little like flashy cutscene happens as soon as they initiate it and you can just block it straight away on like reaction which makes it kind of useless but I, I was watching a couple of matches later on and I like I think there are very specific situations in which you can use that move where it does become a little bit more useful but other than that like all the matches like that I watched in the community that night that we were playing no one really seemed to be using critical art a lot. So we know there are a bunch of new characters in Tekken 7. We, the, the build we played didn't have Akuma, who no, is uh, no. going to feature. <laughs> but what did you think of some of the new characters? Did you get time to use some of those guys? I really like what they've done with the cast this time around. They've, like, they've scaled it back, they've kind of trimmed the fat a bit and added a whole lot of interesting new characters who all play in really different ways. Lucky Chloe, who is like... The cat. Lady. The cat girl who loves Japan. So <laughs> she actually speaks in like broken English, uh, Japanese accented English. You know, she's really cute. Yeah. <laughs> she hops around in this like cat ear outfit. Um, you know, I thought she was really fun to watch, surprisingly. I thought she would be annoying, but she's actually really fun to watch. Other characters like Josie, who is like the Filipino girl. Yeah. You know, I thought she had some great moves. You could see the similarities between some of her moves and Bruce. Bruce's moves, who was not in this Tekken anymore, but he was in the previous game. So I feel like they've kind of done this whole tribute to old characters through these new characters. No Bob, though. No. My, my not favorites. thus far. 
I think like the Tekken scene's kind of died in the last few years. It's been a while since a proper Tekken game has come out, right? And especially in the competitive scene, um, Tekken's just lost so much attention to Street Fighter. And I feel like Tekken 7 is going to be the game that helps get a lot of that back. Well, you'd hope so, right? <laughs> Um, I hope so. <laughs> so there's no confirmed release date for the PlayStation 4 version of Tekken just yet. No. But there are still there are continual updates to the arcade version That's still right. happening. If they don't release Tekken 7 this year, it is going to be like the nail in its coffin. Right. It's <laughs> been Harada. far too long. Five years is far too it long. It has been way too long. Harada, if you're listening to this, please. <laughs> Stop making pervy VR games and get Do this Tekken. for the Tekken community. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, good. Overall, Tekken, good, right? <laughs> yes, I'm very hyped for this, and I'm really, like, I'm going into this game feeling really positive and excited to see what other people think about it, too. Okay. Oh. Okay. You win. See you next time. Bye. Game over.